Scheibe, Board of Trustees, faculty, families, friends, seniors, and all the underclassmen. I'm Dinara from Almaty Kazakhstan, and I'm honored to represent the underclassmen today. I want to congratulate the class of 2015. You made it! For different people, success bears different meanings. Good or well paid job, or maybe a stormy loving family, or public life, maybe some scientific achievements. I do not know. This is the beauty of our life, experiencing as much as possible. A student of commencement remarks at the university in New York said once, you don't receive respect, you earn it, and you aren't given opportunity, you fight for it. As many of you may know, I have a passion for playing the piano. Since I turned three, I have attended a lot of different extracurricular activities. However, not every single one went as far as my inclination for the piano. I had two private teachers, and I successfully graduated from a music school that I attended along with the regular one. Every single teacher I had repeated the same phrase over and over again. This girl has a talent. After basically receiving only compliments and the highest grades on the music exams, I was very confident in myself. I would even say overconfident. Once, I was invited to compete on the international level. The contest was in Yalta, Ukraine. I had to face a lot of exceptionally talented kids, but I didn't take them to my level. When it was my turn to perform, I felt calm. But the face decided to play a cruel trick on me. And as soon as I stepped on the stage, I froze. I was just staring at the audience with my eyes full of shock and consternation, not being able to move at all. Somehow, I got to the piano, walking like a penguin with my painted feet and hands flopping uncontrollably at my side. It felt like being locked in the closet when you're claustrophobic. Eventually, I played the piece I was supposed to perform and rushed out of there as soon as possible. I didn't want to stay there and hear others performing better than I did, and especially didn't want to hear the names of the winners because I knew that I would not hear mine. We got back home two days later, which I spent on hysterically crying into, the, into my pillow, even shouting that I would not play the piano ever again. Today, I still play the piano and I'm being even more passionate about it. That experience in Yalta taught me to be less competitive in order to enjoy what I love to do instead. So even if you fail, accept it and learn from it. As for me, the first taste of a big success came in sport. Since the age of four, skating became my main pleasure activity. Four years ago, I took part and won the Almaty region Figure Skating Championship. Although it was only the end of October, the weather was cold. I recall freezing and being completely nervous. I was afraid of upcoming challenge. A whole year had been spent in preparations for this single day. Special training regime, tiring diet, sleepless nights, high hopes, my parents' and coach expectations turned into a heavy burden. I simply could not let anyone down. Fortunately, I was the third one to perform my dance on the ice. I thought I managed quite well, though my coach and parents described my movements as gracious and faultless. Hence, I could confidently show my skills, and yes, I won the gold medal! This was one of the happiest moments in my life. I was standing on the pedestal, showing everybody my medal with a bunch of flowers, posing photographers. Every person must be a bit considered. I, had, I hope to experience some more such moments in my life in the future, and I'm sure that <coughs> LA will provide me with many more. Have you ever guys thought about being a meteor and a bird in flight at the same time? Being honest, I have not. But things change, oh god, I would not ever think that I could do it someday. The morning was calm. My family and I as always woke up and had breakfast at the home terrace to a melody of the sea under clear blue sky of Turkey. And nothing heralded any terrifying surprises. 
I had even been feeling so excited after my parents announced that we were going on a very exotic trip. Moreover, I became even more impatient craving to know what kind of trip it was after we arrived to our destination. Let's be precise, it was just a steep, a huge path and two tiny airplanes. I also didn't feel suspicious, I also didn't feel suspicious, however, believe me, I should have, when we were asked to put on vests, helmets and other unknown equipment to me. Seven tour guides and the half of my nuclear family loaded up two airplanes and flew into the sky. <coughs> and now, just imagine my face when we were around three kilometers above the ground. The pilot counted down to one. After what the door opened and he said that it was time to jump. <laughs> I started hysterically panicking. My brother and I, with two instructors glued to our backs, were standing right on the edge, with just a step separating us from going into a free flight. I had to take a challenge and overcome my fear. Nevertheless, I did it. I stepped into the abyss and held my brother screaming, now or never. Life is a competition and it doesn't necessarily have to be one huge contest against other people. It consists of many small against yourself when you have to overcome the obstacles, fears you were given and take risks. Otherwise, there is no other way to strive for excellence. So, let's make the most of our lives with a positive attitude and without any regrets, learning from every single failure and finally accomplishing our goals.